Hey everybody, this is Perch. Oh, we haven't had a letter from a critic for a while. Ah, who am I kidding? I get letters from critics all the time. Um, it's always like a spin the wheel though. I don't know if you're this way, um, but uh, I imagine in my head, and I'm like, hey, here comes a negative letter, that some of you are listening to this going, ooh, which which uh, which end of the zone is this going to be from? You know, <laughs> Is it going to be that you don't talk about ISOM enough? Or is it going to be, you talk about ISOM too much? I, I'm just kidding. I'm throwing something out there. Um, well, you know what's weird about um, Isom and uh, and Eric July and, and uh, kind of his his run of things is I get very very little of the kind of um, I don't know nonsense from that group to my channel. I don't know maybe that group exists and they're going somewhere else. I'm not I'm not saying hey I, I what I see is the entire you know you know the sense of the world, but uh, it's it's quiet from there. And generally, uh, the people who have been fans would be like, hello, hey, you should probably check this out. That's the kind of mail I get. It's, it's nice. I know it's, you know, we're all in the center of this culture war, but um, that, that in has been very uh, pleasant to me for what it's worth. Again, I, don't, I, I have no idea what's going on because it is a culture war thing. I have to assume there's stupidity everywhere, but, uh, you know, for what it's worth been it's been very kind and then i appreciate that it's been been nonsense the only real encounter uh any kind of thing i've had with eric july is uh a long time ago like i think at least two years ago i posted something up very sarcastically um as i do as one does uh on twitter because that's pretty much uh the basis behind what i do on social media is just you know sarcasm and shit posting um but heavy sarcasm and a dry dry sarcasm uh, which you see sometimes on this channel all the time burn arby's down right anyway um but uh i posted something about like this comic looks amazing and it, it was like this super bizarre you know panel or something and eric july retweeted going this guy's an idiot this comic looks terrible and um and then i i lived with about a week of a bunch of his followers like you're you stupid you simp you know and then you know a handful of people like i think he was joking and anyway that's that's it but in general. Uh, so let's get to this, this criticism mail. Okay, here, here we go. Uh, Dear Perch, Perch is in quotes. By the way, I always know when somebody's about to uh, crap all over me when they uh, put the Perch in quotes, like they're doing little air quotes. Like, like I know that's your, not your real name. I'm like, dude, I, dude I'm, I'm also aware it's not my real name. Whose name is Perch? Is, it, is there anyone act, actually out there named Perch whose first name is Perch? I would love to, I would like to meet that person. And then I will use their face as the person who runs the channel, dox them, and laugh my way to uh, to Fiji. That's what I'm going to do. Um, anyway, dear Perch, I've been listening to your videos for a little while now, and you are extremely negative. Fair enough. If you want more people to visit your channel you should try to post more positive videos as opposed to negative videos. The right ratio is three positive videos to one negative video because negative videos have more impact. <laughs> I've never actually heard it described that way before. I guess I have heard this idea that like with compliments, like one negative comment can erase 10 compliments. It's kind of a general kind of work, work style thing. But I haven't gotten the uh, three positive videos to one negative video. Um, okay, anyway, back to the mail. You claim to love comics. However, it doesn't come through in your video. When you are complaining about big two books that nobody was going to buy anyway. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> that nobody was going to buy anyway. Wait a minute. <laughs> what, what are we... This is a new... This, this is kind of a new approach of uh, like, hey, you need to be more positive and stop complaining about the books that everybody knows sucks and don't sell. Like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> what? But, but uh, that I'm okay. <laughs> That's fine. Anyway, all right. Take a look at channels like Comics Drake and Comics Storian. They have far more subscribers than you do. And they don't need to talk about alcohol and cuss to get that audience. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I do. So fuck them and fuck you, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Five people got that reference. Anyway. Uh, 
it gets old hearing about negative things in comics, and I know that your audience agrees. If you wish to continue doing this YouTube channel, you're going to have to learn to love comics and actually talk about why you love comics, as opposed to hating on them for laughs and <laughs> clicks. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, fair. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll get, we'll get through the, the last bit of this. I would wish you success, but if I'm being honest, I don't. <laughs> no longer a listener. All right. We won't put the name there. Um, all right, look, I, I had my fun. Um, it, you know, it gets old, um, being irritated and pissed off at comics. And, uh, quite frankly, in addition to the other reasons given, if you, uh, if you listen to that part of the interview, um, that's one of the reasons why the channel, uh, why, why I'm, I'm winding it down and why I know that's, that's something I'm going to, three years from now, I'm going to be talking about winding it down. It's going to be a bit, it's becoming an Arby's bit. Um, but there is a lot of content there. I, I made the, uh, I don't know. I don't remember if I was on the air or off the air during one of the interviews, but I, I was showing, uh, no, I guess it would have had to be off the air. I was showing, um, the person I was interviewing that I was uploading, uh, videos, uh, for January. And so it's, it's like, you know, there's just a lot of content there. And, and I do enjoy kind of talking and having this, this communication thread. I do enjoy that part. I don't enjoy some of the stuff in the comments for sure, but that's comments. Comments are like that. Uh, the mumbles bit got old roughly two years ago. Um, and I, I don't enjoy the, uh, miss, miss the intentional misrepresentation. So like with the, uh, the, the Sean Murphy interview, uh, the, the wild misinterpretation of what was actually said that people ran with for clicks, um, completely for clicks, by the way, uh, somebody else was pointing out to me, uh, that, you know, YouTube is absolutely, um, you know, pushes more outrageous comments. I've noticed that if I put up a thumbnail and I've got words that are more negative in that thumbnail, I get better traffic. Uh, but it's not just people clicking on it because they're geared to click on negative things. I'll get stuff in my you know YouTube panel that says it was shown to more people, displayed in more videos, and I can directly contrast that with the ones that just like have some nice comic art. Just they, they, they definitely, and I think as ad rates have gone down and as you know people are just not as interested in the MCU anymore. And the culture war is getting a little long in the tooth. It's like the, the money has dropped. And if you think about a group like uh, YouTube, they can all this money off uh, videos and ads and everything, a 10% drop of attention won't feel like much to you and me, the people listening to, to videos, but it feels like a lot to, to YouTube. I mean, to their, you know, that they, they make a lot of money out of outreach clicks. It's funny when you see all these articles out there, like the toxic fans who are complaining on YouTube and all the rest. They don't mention the part of like, and YouTube heavily encourages that, quite frankly. And yes, I know they'll suppress things when it, when when they you know, want to kind of make a statement in one area or the other, but they like it. It's money. This kind of stuff is a huge part of their value chain. If suddenly, you know, the what some of these articles and and have have asked for, like they should ban all the people who are making negative comments about Marvel movies. YouTube would feel like there'd be a material impact to their revenue. If they did that, YouTube's not going to do that. Google's not going to do that. So anyway, it just, just as a side, but, um, look, it's, it's, it isn't fun talking about things that are irritating. And I've, I've tried to do, I mean, this is another thing that a lot of stuff happens in the background that, that you guys don't see. Uh, one of those things is that when I get a call and increasingly it's been a lot of calls from people saying, Hey, yeah, my, uh, the editor I was working with has ghosted me now for three months. Do you have any suggestions or. A, um, I've, I've been calculating up now and I'm owed about, you know, $18,000. I'm not sure how to go chase that. Um, when, you know, I've kind of been told that if I make too much noise about it, they're going to punish me. I mean, stuff like that. When I have calls like that, which is several times a week, um, I don't do videos after those calls because I'm angry because it just, it, it frustrates me how people are being treated. And I, I, you know, so I, I'll give advice here, do comic shop stuff there. Um, and I, but, but one thing you, you know, if you're being honest with yourself, uh, to, to push back a little bit, when was the last video that you saw on this channel? And it happens, but it's rare. I may talk about a particular topic, but I'm like, today we're going to look at America Chavez number five and how shitty it is. Well, I, you don't see those videos on my channel. I don't do those videos. 
I don't go into, you know, I, the, I, I don't do that. You know, I will talk about various questions that get brought up. I will talk about other things, but I, but I'm not here just, just shitting on comics all day. And, you know, different people, I guess you can, you can hear it any way you want, but absolutely. I love comics. I read a lot of comics. I push a lot of comics. I, I give suggestions. I, you know, one of the funny parts is you get, you know, what for every one creator that wants to act like a complete a-hole on uh, Twitter and, uh, you know, pick a fight with their nothing career. Um, I've got, you know, five others, many of whom are, uh, you know, quote unquote, uh, the, the SJW types who are reaching out, asking for advice, asking for help. And we're having a decent conversation. So, I, you know, I, I, by and large, you know, I, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't love comics. I'm definitely not here to, I don't, I'm not, you know, when I, one of the, re, one of the other reasons why starting it out as a publisher and actually putting some books out. I'm not going to do it like what you've seen other places. You're not going to be coming out of this channel and I'm going to be, I'm going to go, here's my video. But before I get to that, you know, here's a book you could buy over here and something you buy over here. Nothing against the people doing it. They need promotion and that's great, but that's not me. That's, that's not me. And no shade. People have to sell their books and I'm glad they do. But that's not what I'm going to do. So when I get to that point soon, the channel has to go away because I'm not going to mix the two. I do, but this is like my own personal weird ass belief. This is what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to market a different way. Maybe it will be less successful. That's fine. I'm prepared to live with those consequences, but I'm not going to mix those things up. This channel doesn't exist to shit on the mainstream so I can get you to buy my book. Okay. I, I, uh, what's a, it's just not, it's not, it's, to me, it's unseemly. <laughs> That's a weird word. It's a very douchey word. Uh, but anyway, it's not, it's not what I want to do. So look, I, I think I'll conclude this by saying, you know, for the people who write in, uh, with comments like this or the people who write in and, uh, want to, you know, castigate me for not talking about some one crowdfunded group or another, or ask me why I'm not sucking the you know, sucking up. Oh, I, I censored myself there a little bit. Why I'm not sucking up to a particular YouTuber. Um, you can enjoy those things. You don't need my permission to enjoy them, and you just certainly don't need my endorsement. And a lot of the times when people are, are asking me why I'm not doing more to promote other people, those other people are bigger than me. They don't need my promotion. Quite bluntly, I am smaller, and I am also comfortable with that. Well, you know, not, not when I'm talking about my junk. I'm definitely bigger there, but, but in general, smaller. You, you understand. I mean, Mrs. Perch is happy. That's, that's all I'm saying. Keep, keep happy wife, happy life. Um, but... Is that, that's that humor again. Um, go, go, go enjoy these things. The, the part that I find a little weird is that you're wanting me to be different, but why, how am I getting in the way of your enjoyment of something? How am I, um, how am I stopping you? If I complain about a comic, it's really easy to avoid me. You don't have to click on the video. Was it? You don't like my comics? Don't uh, politics? Don't like my politics? Don't buy my comics? Is that the statement? I know that got beat up a lot, and Kelly Sue is is easy to you know crap on because of just you know how she comes across. But it's a it is at the end of the day a largely true statement. You know, for for a comic publisher, it's kind of a dumb statement because you do need those sales, and you got a freelancer out there telling you not to buy things. That's uh, huh, um, maybe not the best move. But at the end of the day, there is some truth to the idea of, of you're in control of your wallet, your money, your time, all of those things. And if you don't like something, don't, don't, don't buy it. If you want to complain about that thing after you don't buy it, you know, again, it's a free country. You're welcome to do it. And sometimes those complaints, you know, come from a place of passion. That's, that, that's up to you. That's your business. But I guess that's, that's the, that, that is it. It is all your business. This is all my business. You know, if I've said this before, if there were uh, 12 subscribers to this channel, it would have still gone as long as this, as it would still be doing it. I'm not doing this for the crowd. I've told you, all of you, many times why I do this. The, just enjoy what you like and don't give your power to somebody else. Don't give, you know, your ability to enjoy or dislike something. Don't hand it over. Keep it. 
guard it. Be selfish about it. That you get to pick what you like. Only you. You also get to pick what you hate. And if you hate too many things, you know, it's going to bleed into other parts of your life. Just like if you love too many things, you're, you're going to be just walking around euphoric like, a, like an asshole. It sounds pretty good, actually. But just don't worry about what other people are liking and disliking. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to you. For what it's worth. Uh, the, the happiness police. Uh, it, it, nobody wants that. Nobody needs it. But I do uh, I do need all of you. So thanks for listening.